Welcome back to Tech E Times. Now, in the previous video, you had seen how do you create a virtual machine in your laptop using the application VMware Workstation. Now, it's time for our first practical where we see how can you configure a domain in this server. Now, before configuring a domain, all you need to do is assign your server an IP address. Why so? Without an IP address, your server will not be able to communicate with anyone. Hence, an IP address is a must. So now, how do you do this? As you can see at the bottom, there is the network symbol. And on this symbol, you will right click and say open network and sharing center. Now, you go to Ethernet, its properties, IP version 4, because this is the version we are using currently. And now you can assign static IP. Static means fix or manual IP to the server along with the subnet mask. Now it asks for the default gateway, which we are not using right now since there is no router. Also the DNS, we are not using any DNS right now because there is no DNS in your company as of now. So simply say OK. Now once, since the IP configuration has been done, we can simply start with configuration of a domain. So if you remember ADDS, Active Directory Domain Service, this was the service or this was the role which you need to install to configure or to create a domain. So what do you do? You go on this particular option which says add roles or features. This screen, what you see guys, is known as the server manager. Any service, any role or feature to be installed from this option. So now if I click on this, next, next, and next, as you can see, the IP is not visible. The IP that I had assigned, which was 192.168.1.1, is not visible over here. Cause the server is not yet refreshed. Once when it refreshes itself, you will be able to see the changes over here. Now, in this page for roles, you can see the second option that says, Active Directory Domain Services and this is the role in which we are interested right now. So I simply click on the checkbox and say add features. Now next this is the features page but as of now we do not require any feature but yes you'll notice that group policy option is selected by default. Let it be guys it will get installed by default along with ADDS. And now I say install. So the role installation has started on the server. The time taken for installation depends on your processing power or your speed of the disk. Now, as you can notice, it says role has been successfully installed. So if I close this window, you would be able to see a yellow exclamation mark. Don't worry guys, this is not an error. It is a notification icon. In the same way that you have notifications on Facebook, you also have notifications in Microsoft. Now it asks to configure the server as a domain controller. Now, it has given me three options out of which I will have to select the third option, reason. Option number one and two says existing and 
as of now you have created nothing that means nothing exists as of now so what do you do you select the third option that says add a new forest now you may be wondering what is this forest it's easy guys forest means the entire company so they've given this term forest to the entire company and in this company obviously you will have a parent domain parent means the primary domain or you can also call it the root domain and for these parent or for this par parent domain you can have multiple child domains which we will be covering later on in the course so right now i say test dot lab so this is the name that i want to assign to my domain right now next now you can see forest level and domain level it says server 2016 now what is it if i check the list it starts from 2008 2008 r2 12 12 r2 and finally 16 many of you may wonder of what is this r2 so it is easy enough to understand windows had launched 2008 at the first place and then what happens is the company finds out that there are some bugs in their operating system so what do they do they correct these bugs that means they solve the problems they add some new features into this operating system and release an improved version or you may say enhanced version which is known as r2 r2 stands for revised version so initially it is 2008 which people call 2008 r and then comes r2 that means the revised version or the improved version now you can only see 2016 yes because right now they have launched 2016 and slowly and steadily when they find some bugs they will correct it add some new features and i guess by the next year you would be seeing 2016 r2 so now what are these two options forest level forest means the entire company and domain domain means a part of the company both say 2016 what is this if i select 2016 that means the earlier version the earlier version that means the versions that came before 2016 what came before 2016 it is 8 and 12 so the earlier versions before 2016 will not be able to enter your forest or you may say enter your company that means this is very much similar to age restriction if it is set to 2016 that means servers below 16 that is 12 and 8 cannot enter your domain and servers which matches the criteria that is 16 or above that means after two or three years they may release like server 2020 so server 2016 and later on will be able to enter the domain or you may say enter the company and servers below 2016 will not be able to enter the company so now what do we do even today there are many companies working on server 2008 hence you will have to select the lowest version so that even 2008 can enter your company now over here it asks for a password so i assign a password and generally what we do is give a complex password because you must be knowing till now that complex passwords are difficult to break or to hack or to crack but question is what is this password for so the answer is it says restore mode that means you can restore your server what does restore means to restore means to bring back your server at the previous time you have restore option in your cell phone also if you try to restore your cell phone your cell phone becomes blank all settings all data is wiped out and you have a blank phone that means it is taking your cell phone back to the time from where you purchased it in the same way you can also restore your server that means you can restore the server to the initial point but not everyone can restore the server 
So only the person having this security password will be able to restore the server. Now over here it is a small notification about DNS but as of now just ignore this guys because we will be covering this in a very huge lecture of DNS. Now this says NetBIOS name. What is NetBIOS? NetBIOS means the network name. That means you would be identified on the network with this name which is test. That means your domain test.lab will be recognized on the network with the name test. And as you all know guys, by default, all your applications, all your data gets saved in C. If you want, you can change the path, but I do not think this is needed as of now. Now, what are these? We will be taking a look at this, but in the later videos. Now, there's a button over here which says view script. If I open this, you may see a lot of complicated stuff over here. What is this now? If you read it line by line, we first installed ADDS, then we created a new forest by the name test.lab whose network name or NetBIOS name is test. Forest level and domain level was set to 2008. That means if you can recollect every setting that you gave up to now is written over here in the form of commands and Microsoft commands are also known as PowerShell commands. So they call their commands PowerShell. So this is a PowerShell script which you need to know. If you remember guys in the previous video we had two options for server installation out of which we had selected the second option which was GUI. Had you selected the first option which was CLI that means there would be no graphics, no animations, no mouse clicks, no icons. In that case, you would have to type so many commands in order to configure your own domain. So now guys, you would be able to figure it out. Command line servers are much difficult and much hectic to work on since you need to remember thousands of commands. Not only that, typing takes time and a simple mistake and you would have to type the entire command once again. Anyways, let's move ahead. So now it is simply checking that whatever options I gave till now are valid or not. And as you can see, it's a green tick saying that all prerequisite checks passed successfully. So now what can I do? I will simply say install. That means now is the time that my domain is getting configured in this server. A thing to note over here, once the domain gets configured, the server will automatically reboot. Reboot means restart. Why so? To save the settings. Once when the server has rebooted, you can verify that the domain has been configured. We'll wait and see how. Up and now if we try to log in, you may see it also displays the name of the domain. It is the NetBIOS name, guys. If you can recall, we had seen an option saying NetBIOS where we discussed that it is known as the network name. The name by which your domain will be identified on the network. Now, if I try to log in, you see the server manager getting started automatically. Now, if I click over here on local server, you will see the name of the domain getting displayed as test.lab, also the IP address and some other details like firewall and the computer name. If you see guys, this computer name is much complicated. If you want to change, you can simply click here and change the name of the computer. That's it guys. So we have verified that the domain has been configured successfully. More videos to come. So stay back. We'll be coming back soon.